Hey! Do you want to know how to make something similar? Let's start! First, find some references. It's a good idea to have visual support in front of your eyes. Starting from blank canvas is overestimated. Found? Good! Don't try to copy what you see, try to recreate the style you see. Start with blocking of general shapes. Topology doesn't matter now. Make you understand yourself at this stage. If part you want to make have cutouts, some kind of engineerish, use booleans. To make shape more believable, add Pavel modifier with weighted normals modifier. Or maybe your part is somewhere smooth, somewhere sharp, with transitions from one surface to other, use subdivision. Just please, don't try to make everything by hand. Use creases for shape control. Bevel edges on this kind of surface can be achieved via smooth modifier. Now let's make some low poly model. It will capture features of high poly. I make it mirrored to reduce the texture space required for model. At this moment, we want to capture the overall shape of high poly model with our low poly model. The bevels, the crevices, all the small details will be baked at the stage later. To capture features of our high poly model onto the low poly model, we need to bake it. But before it, we need to unwrap our low poly model to make 2D texture. Please notice that in every place where you want to mark your seam, we also need to place the hard edge. It will reduce baking artifacts. Back islands closely and try to make them follow 90 degree angle. It will make texture more resistant to downscaling. Name your objects respectively with suffix low for low poly and high for high poly to make baking much simpler. We will bake our model in the Mamoset tool pack, cause in my opinion it is one of the most convenient, useful and simple to get into tools for baking the normals and other additional textures. Now let's get into Substance Painter where all the magic begins. You input your model, all your additional textures and also first thing you have to do is to separate your model by predefined materials which you can select by ID mask. The most convenient way is to create folder, create black mask for it, create add color selection on the black mask and with pick color you can select only the place where for example the brass material should be. Of course in the material mode we have some shading and some reflections but when we change our mode to single texture, you can see that it looks very boring. To create some basic uh, light shadow uh, print, we can drag and drop backlight modifier onto our slots with materials. It will create some base from which we will start. After you spend some time tweaking settings of your backlight, you can also add ambient inclusion to your texture. To make this, you need to create fill layer to create black mask for it to fit ambient occlusion previously baked in Mamaset tool bag into the grayscale slot of your fill modifier. Also, you have to notice that in ambient occlusion the most occluded parts are black, but for our purposes we need white in the most occluded parts and the black in most opened parts. So we have to invert our texture and also tweak levels a little bit to pop it out. You can also select any color for your ambient occlusion as you like, as your artistic taste dictates you. To make light more interesting on our texture, we can use bake light. With HDRI you prefer. Also, you have to admit that Metallic and roughness parameters for your materials should be a little bit high to make it properly. Because we're working with baked light, we also can abuse the normals and height in our advantage to have some additional details on lighting. 
For example, uh, as you see here, I drawn some uh, lines which represent the wood texture on the surface. But if I will add the height to the fill layer, you can see how the lighting on our texture changes. And of course, this will also work on our base color. The same is true here. For example, I created the fill layer with some arbitrary color which affect normal channel with grungy map. And as you see, it also affect how baked light uh, work with our main texture. The same workflow was used here. We just create fill layer, reduce the height parameter into the fill layer, and it will affect how the bake light affects our texture. At the end, you can export your texture from Substance Painter and use it in any engine you like. The model will look pretty much the same because we have all the data and lighting baked inside single texture. I do recognize that to follow this video, you would have to know high poly modeling, low poly modeling, UV mapping and baking. And to cover these topics fully, we would require a video about 10 to 20 hours long, so it will be very hard to watch. But I hope that this short video was interesting for you, it made you interested in such a topics, and again, thank you for watching, have a nice one, bye bye.